Hey everyone, Church of SCFU. Uh, so, Dr. Death, uh, Dr. Kevorkian, just died in the US. He was an advocate for euthanasia. Uh, and to me, that's kind of an important issue because I myself hope to not be terminally ill anytime soon. But I know that if I am terminally ill, um, and it's one of those diseases that really, really um, gives one no quality of life whatsoever, I want to have the option to be allowed to die peacefully. Um, and I think even having that option would, as long as I choose to stay alive, would make me a lot happier in that situation just because I know I can end the suffering if I have to, if it gets too much to bear. Um, and there are two cases that I remember that really, I mean, I guess I was always fairly sympathetic to euthanasia, but two cases where I had to say it's just not humane, it's just cruel um, not to let certain people end their own lives. And the first was the case of a French woman who was fighting for euthanasia, who had a, a facial, facial tumor. And, I mean, as you can see by that image, this was, I mean, it, obvi it caused her tremendous physical suffering, and it deformed her so, to such a degree that, um, obviously, she would not have been able to function in a social setting. Um, in the everyday world uh, so given the and clearly this cancer is terminal and everyone knew this cancer was terminal she was going to die and she was fighting for her right to die in France um, and she never achieved it so she died as a result of her uh, cancer um, but I don't see why she had to go through that extended period of suffering to be allowed to finally pass away with doctors administering their treatments in total futility with no hope of ever <laughs> of ever actually having her recover um, and the other case was an Australian woman again who was um, f uh, fighting for her right to euthanasia who had I think it was either I think it was a cancer of the intestine, um, it could have been a stomach cancer. But basically what happens with this cancer is, it blocks up everything. Um, and then eventually your stomach contents and your, 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 your bowel contents will start to just rise. And people will actually suffocate on their own fecal matter and stomach contents. Um, and yeah, this was at a stage with her where she was definitely going to die. It was a, at a stage with her where she was definitely going to die in a very, very nasty way. These people are condemned to basically either kill themselves in some way that would possibly incriminate whoever provided them with the means to do so or to go through all of this agony um, and I don't think that's right I really don't I think that a lot of what I as a humanist care about is stopping suffering. I don't like suffering. I really don't like it. And I really like people living lives that are happy. And I don't want people to end lives that could potentially be happy. So I don't want young people to commit suicide over whatever perceived problem they have if there's a good chance that later on they will be happy. But for people that have no real hope for ever regaining any quality of life that will make them happy again, I think it should be up to them, not up to anyone else. It should be up to them and them alone 
how they want to end their lives. And all of those medicines we use to keep a lot of those people alive, we have the medicines to make their passing be a, a humane experience rather than a torment. And I think if we choose to disallow doctors from providing them with the humane option, then the torment is on us as a society. So, whatever you think of Dr. Kravorkian's possibly maverick ways, I think part of his legacy and the legacy of people like him in um, a lot of countries It will happen anyways. We will give people the choice to end their own lives one day. But if we don't do it today, if we do it in 20 years, what about all of the people that have to go through such tremendous, unnecessary suffering that they don't want to go through? Um, yeah. I hope that one day when when I get to that stage in life, um, depending on what my what my deadly issue is going to be, whatever it is, I hope I get the choice to stick it out till the end, fight it till the end, like a trooper, or if the suffering gets too much for me to handle and stay sane in my own head to choose to just drift off a couple of weeks or months earlier than would have been medically uh, sustainable. Anyways, Church of SCFU. I will see you guys all later.